but it's a lot of things I don't want to speak on no more. I, I was going to say, say, I was going to say the same thing I said in that video. They can go right to my app and download it, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. They don't got it. They can go right to that universe. I'm on vacation. Right or wrong. If we out and they see us out somewhere, they can come and say hey and so look. But they can they can go and right go right to that app, right for anything that they want to know, right or wrong. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let me finish this clip. Hold up. I mm -hmm. try to humiliate you, but why we can't say sweetheart? You need to be a little bit more feminine. So how did your aunts, your mom, cousins, how did that affect your life coming up? To the point where you feel as if almost every black woman is toxic. Okay, before I answer that, I don't feel every black woman is toxic. I feel black women in America are toxic. Mm -hmm. I ain't had no, I ain't, I'm gonna be honest with you about that. I ain't had no, I ain't had no black woman treat me better than a goddamn Jamaican. I just wanna say that, but they be, but the ones the ones over here, they be toxic. They be toxic. I just gotta say that. Let me play. That's crazy. Y'all love y'all gay best friends and all like they don't they don't treat their gay best friends the way they treat us. Like, bitch, I ain't gay. Don't talk to me and treat me like that. And I ain't saying do that to a gay person, but all I'm saying is, why do you do it to me, but you don't do it to the why you talking to me like that, but you don't, you don't. You don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like you treat me like I'm, like I'm ain't shit. But hey y'all, um, I was looking at Young Pharaoh, and here he go with this black women shit. And a lot of people are like, well, how do you know? Let me throw this in real quick too. How do you know that um that guy said he was talking about Young Pharaoh? He never said his name. Who the fuck else gets on here every day talking about black women? Hmm. Hmm. Who? Hmm. Who is he referring to when he say, listen here, young nigga, young nigga, you young little ass nigga? Hmm? Who is he talking about? Who dog, they baby mama all on the internet? He's saying it. He's saying it. Said he's saying it in his video. He just didn't say no name. Oh, he could be talking about anybody. Who? Who else? Who brave enough to get on here and dog out their baby mama, put bags on their baby mama heads, uh, tell people... Give out the address for somebody to go over there and do something to them. Dog them out. Call them all type of bitches and hoes. Put all their sex business out here. Um, talk real bad about his first baby mama. Nigga go on YouTube tours talking about them on big platforms. Motherfucker just get on here just talking about black women. Said he was saying that in his video. Who else could he be talking about? Hmm? Who else? And if he wasn't talking about him, he, shit, he need to be talking about his motherfucking ass. Okay, yeah. But Pharaoh's back on here with this shit. But I, I just wanted to say this real quick. Look, what I hear in him, and I think I said this before. I hit on this before out of all my other videos that I did speaking on this about young Pharaoh, right? He's speaking about the women in his life. He is making it seem as if it's everybody, right? Black women in America. How many black women in America have you dated? How many black women? Have you dated all the motherfuckers? Have you interacted with all of the black women? There's a whole millions, trillion black women in America. How many of them have you interacted with, been with sexually, was in a relationship with them? So when you talk about black women, you pretty much talking about yourself. You're not, you, you trying to keep yourself out of the shit. Well, yeah, they did me wrong. They did me wrong. Well, no, hold on. Wait a minute. Everybody you talking about when you talk about them, okay? Because you can't talk about a motherfucker that you don't know. So that's out of the motherfucking picture, okay? Now, let's get this straight, right? The ones that you're talking about is the motherfuckers you chose. You chose them. You chose them motherfuckers. If they did you wrong and treated you like shit, you chose them. You chose them. That's on you. Shit. Why you can't take the blame even for that motherfucker? You act like you was forced to talk to them and forced in a relationship and all of them just done did your ass wrong and now just, oh, pity me. They all just treated me wrong and, you know, all the black women in America are just toxic. What about you? What about your choices? Hmm? What about your choices? Hmm? Yet you talking about them yet in the next sentence you talking about you still in love with the black girl yogini i mean like whatever the fuck her name is 
Really, Pharaoh? Pharaoh. You talking about the black people that you've dealt with, your family, you talk about your the people in your personal life that you've dealt with, okay? If and you haven't had too many motherfucking relationships, right? Let's hit on this too, right? So if they did treat you wrong, again, then were the toxic motherfuckers you chose because you were toxic. You attract what you are, motherfucker. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? Hmm? Yeah. You, you attract that. And you the type, look, listen to you. I want to fuck with me some bad bitches. I want to fuck with me some bad bitches. Yeah. Y'all want to fuck. Yeah. These are the women that you choose and you say you go after some bad bitches, right? Yeah. You go after them bad bitches. Them bad bitches that you talking about are not professional doctors, um, lawyers, attorneys, um, you know what I'm saying? Supervisors, uh, you know, uh, just different um i'll say some act we can't we can't i'm not going to put actresses and actors because they got their whole little uh how they live their life so i ain't gonna even throw them in it but the women who uh you can eliminate and that are uh that you wouldn't be able to put uh or in a toxic black american woman category they're not the women that you chose to do you 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 choose to deal with a. you always say it, it quote unquote um, a bad bitch. Y'all want me some bad bitches. Now, if that ain't toxic within his motherfucking self, then I don't know what is. It's what you choose. So for you to throw it out there, like she was saying, I totally understand that. I get it. And then if you hearing women like us getting on here, tearing off in your ass and, and telling you and giving you a piece of our motherfucking minds, nigga, and we black Americans, we are responding to the toxic shit you doing, the toxic shit you displaying, the toxic shit you are saying, the, the fucked up shit you doing, saying and how you using people and your behavior. That's what the fuck. See, you don't want to hear that shit. So you can't just say all of them. You don't know, motherfucker. Keep that shit in the motherfucking category in your own small circle of people that you talk to. All right. You can't say that about every fucking body. You can't. You can't at all. All right. You cannot at all. All the do you expect a bad bitch to treat you with some motherfucking respect? Do you expect a bad bitch um to treat you like a king? Do you expect a bad bitch to um uh, you know what I'm saying? Be loyal to you and have your back and you know what I'm saying? Be by your side and 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 and, and do you? No. Bad bitch alone within itself just sounds toxic within this motherfucking self. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? It's the choices that you make, nigga. You need to start taking some fucking responsibility for the sh for your motherfucking choices and your words and what you dealt with. You just always wanted somebody on the phone with you to agree with every motherfucking thing you say. Is that right? Yeah. Tell me, uh, what about that? Do you agree? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So isn't this this? Yeah. Nigga, you need a motherfucking therapist. Yeah. Don't use them as your motherfucking therapist. Yeah, you need a therapist. It sounds like you need a motherfucking therapist. Yeah, because you always want a motherfucker to agree with you. You always want a motherfucker to console you. You always want a motherfucker to just give you a pacifier every time you whining and shit. Don't nobody want to hear that simp sorry ass shit all the motherfucking time. Yeah. But then when we get on here to black women in America and say this, then now we're toxic. Something wrong with us. You just they just so mean. They just treat you so wrong. And can't nobody treat you wrong if they haven't even never met your motherfucking ass. Fuck is wrong with you. Grow the fuck up and, and pick up them balls and, and stick that head up high. Look at your whole energy within itself. Who do you expect to treat you like a man and you walking around looking like you just lost your best motherfucking friend? Like you just done lost your, your favorite best friend dog or some shit. Yeah. And here you are on the thing, smoking that thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They just all treat me wrong, you know? Yeah, so am I right? Am I right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like just every all the black women in America. You know, they just they just treat me wrong. All the black women in America. You know what I'm saying? Look how you sound. You don't sound like you have some posture about yourself. You hold your head up high, confidence about yourself. You don't sound like you the man and you in control. Yeah, well, women know a man who in control, who going to shit, who listen. No, no, just no man. OK, a man, man is not just about to allow allow a woman to disrespect him. Right. He gonna, he is going to choose um, and he is going to. Um, 
He is going to center himself around women, you know, that he know that is going to respect him. He, he, he is going to accept nothing other than that, other than that woman treating him like a man, other than that woman respecting him. He's a man. He's in control. He runs this. You align yourself with that. OK, he's the man he has. He you could tell it's his behavior, everything about him, his aura. He is the man. He's not going to allow someone else to treat him this way to then later on say, oh, that was their fault. They treated me like this. And, you know, um, yeah, the black women. Yeah, they always just treat me mean. No strong minded man will ever say that at all. It just sounds weak as fuck. It doesn't even sound like no one should feel sorry for your ass. That shit doesn't even sound like something for someone to be sorry for you for. That's your motherfucking fault. Yeah, that's your fault. The different things that you get out here and do, you set yourself up for that. You set yourself just the way you're talking. You don't even sound strong. So how would you expect to attract a woman like that? I bet you that girl still ain't motherfucking called your ass back. Yeah. Now she will be someone that will respect you. That would, she's black too as well. And she will be somebody um, that is uh, to me. I'm just saying, you know, because we all know what we see on Instagram ain't what it is. But just from looking at her and I could read a motherfucker pretty well. She seems like she has some respect about herself. Like she loves herself. She take care of herself. And, that, and she seems like she would treat her mate or her friend, somebody that she interested in, like the man that he is and treat him as he should be treated. Yeah. But of course, she she will not align herself with someone like you. Just everything about you. It just doesn't match her in energy and she seems like a strong-minded woman about her shit got her head on strong she has believe that she's a christian you know she has her different um uh things that she do in life as far as playing the instrument she was doing um gymnastics before i believe so she doing she got something going about herself she would never we would never see her with you at all and she is someone that you wouldn't call no bad bitch. She wouldn't be someone that will be in that bad bitch category. Yeah, she will be someone outside of that. But guess what? We would never see her with you because that's not who you attract. That's not who what you look at. Boy, what? Yeah, you're going to attract the Martinas and the, and the Goldens and the, you know what I'm saying? The other girl over there. Then the Jolie and the, yeah, them who the fuck you attract, nigga. That's the reason why nobody respecting you. Look how you carry yourself. Look how you carry yourself. A woman is going to treat a man accordingly. If you choose to, to, to uh, surround yourself around that type of woman and then cry about it later, that's your motherfucking fault. You should have saw them signs way before you even dealt with a motherfucker. Ain't nobody forcing you to be with them. You can't blame this shit on nobody else at all. You can't. This shit sounds simp. Sorry, you just sound pathetic. You sound pathetic. If you don't pick your motherfucking head up and stop hitting that goddamn pipe and motherfucking go in there and actually start reading some motherfucking books, nigga, then maybe, you know what I'm saying, you, you, will, you will start to learn and see what the fuck I'm talking about. But your ass is just sitting there. Uh, who wouldn't dog your ass out and treat you some type of way? Look how you, look how you are. Look how you carry, ugh. Nigga, is you serious? Pharaoh. Pharaoh, is you serious, nigga? This shit simple. This shit is simple. How the fuck you not getting it, Mr. Smartest fucking man in the world? You need to wake the fuck up now. Yeah, snap the fuck up out of it, nigga. Yeah, snap out of it. You attract what you are. Everything you're saying that someone else is and these are the women in your life and this is how they were. You're talking. You can only be talking about the motherfuckers that you picked and dealt with and your family members and all of that. That ain't nobody outside of that. Yeah, you can't blame that on nobody else besides the people in your circle who you met, who you've been around, who've been in your presence. OK, so just blame that on them. And maybe if you um, uh, change your characteristics, maybe if you change shit about yourself, then maybe then you will see a change in women and who, who will approach you. The women you choose, you will have a you will have a different um, uh, selection of women you choose. And then you will begin to see those results that you're looking for. No, it ain't about, oh, let me go get another woman from another country. I mean, like, if that's what the fuck you want to go do, go do it. But you still you. You are still Pharaoh. Just because you go get another motherfucking woman from another country doesn't mean that shit's going to change. It's you, nigga. 
You keep trying to look outside of yourself when even you're not, when you, when you don't realize it's still you, it's still you nigga, no matter what outside the country, you could go to Mars and get one motherfucking Pluto. Goddamn the aliens over there. You could go and make a motherfucking, no matter what it is, you still you. And that's what the fuck you going to attract. If you continue to be the way that you are, it's nobody else fault, but yours, nigga yours you change you then you will see some motherfucking results yeah have you ever thought about that why these motherfuckers is just sitting there agreeing with your ass they should be telling you and she sound like she don't even want to be on the motherfucking phone with your ass she sound like she tired of being on the phone with you yeah i got the damn girl on the phone for two hours and you on live who do you want to talk to her or the motherfucking live nigga make up your mind then this nigga gonna he don't know if he retired or he on vacation this motherfucker talking about uh yeah when tasha k asked him so why don't you go to the hood and do this this and this with your you know knowledge or whatever oh because i told them you know they can go to my website and this this and this then the nigga pause and say shit this nigga start just mumbling something he sound like he under the, he sound like he had been drinking or some shit this motherfucker gonna say, shit, because I'm on vacation right now. What? Then he admitted it, y'all. The nigga admitted it. Then he said, because it's just some things I, I don't, I'm never gonna talk about again. What? Didn't we hit on that? Didn't I say that shit? He said, it's some things I just don't want to talk about no more. I don't want to talk about ever again. Didn't I say it? Because he don't feel that way no more. Of course, he's not gonna talk about it again. Of course, he's not. He not going to talk about it again because everything he talked about was down in the person that he uplifting now. Hell no. You feel uncomfortable. I told y'all. And he said it. I ain't talking about what I, I don't want to talk about what I talked about before. Y'all want to hear it? Y'all go on my website and y'all hear it there. Then they're going to say, oh, because I'm on vacation. Then, then said it. Yeah. And I just don't, there's some things I just don't want to talk about. I don't want to ever talk about it again. I'm not going to talk about. It. Yeah. We know why. We caught the shit. We know. We see right through your ass. Yeah. So worry about changing yourself. Then maybe you will see some results. Yeah, because everybody in America ain't fucked up. Yeah, no, it's the motherfuckers that you choose is fucked up because you fucked up. Yeah, have you ever thought about that? So with that being said, y'all, y'all be careful out here because these motherfuckers is on here whining, want pacifiers and shit. Motherfuckers on here just wanting to have a pity party. Uh, poor little me. You know what I'm saying? They all did me wrong and I ain't did nothing. They all toxic, but I'm not. And that don't even, that, that, that don't click. Toxic with someone not toxic don't click. You got to be toxic to attract a toxic motherfucker, period. You just won't, it, it won't go. You If you're not toxic and someone else is toxic, it's just y'all not even going to see eye to eye. It's not going to, it's not gonna click you're not even gonna be interacting like that you're gonna attract what you are so if you toxic then you're gonna attract someone who's toxic and then when the, when your life is the way that it is don't look up and say oh it was everybody's fault because they were toxic and everybody else is toxic but i'm not no nah, nigga you toxic that's why you dating toxic women and that's why you calling motherfuckers toxic because it's you toxic when you're not toxic no motherfucking more then you won't be able to blame that on all the women in america you will see things a lot totally in a whole totally different perspective than you seeing it right now, nigga.